Hey, everybody, good morning, and welcome to the very well, the sun lit. Y'all know I like this sun, honey, coffee and conversation. She liked this sun. Come on in here. Mm-hmm. Let's take the day. The sun is good. Glow, golden glow. Hey, everybody, welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Y'all, look, we have finally, we are finally coming to a close of 2020. 2020 has had a lot going on. Now, if this is your first time here at my channel, um, welcome. You know, if you hadn't been here before, but most of y'all been here before. And as you can see, it's wash day, and I got all this hair that has grown because um, I don't go to the shop, you know, during COVID. I keep my hair put up. You know, it either gets corn rolled or my sister say I hear something running kind of big in the bushes. And y'all know these these rude criddles around here. We got all these trees, honey, in my neighborhood. It's criddles. You got to be careful. You know, got bats. You got to be careful what's around. Um, so it's wash day, you know. And, you know, my kids have named all this hair, you know, because I, I, I shaped it for y'all so you can't really see, you know, what's happening with it. So I shaped it. My sister's going to say I knew she was going to pull that hair because she pulls it. Um, but it's wash day, and I fell asleep before I could put it back up. So I'm going to keep the camera out as far as I can so you all can't see. Hopefully the sun ain't picking up all this oil because, you know, for you wash it, you put a ton of oil in it. So it's nice and greasy, and I and I you know didn't have a chance to put it back up, so I could put that head wrap on that y'all you know custom to this year, them COVID wraps, them COVID uh, cover ups, as I like to call them. So you know you getting my real deal today. This this what I look like under that wrap when I take the wrap off. It's a big old fat, and it got a little gouge in the middle. Now if you gonna sit up there, the least you could do is just be. I'm black and I'm proud. You need to stand up now. My kids named this hair Harrington. Yo, Har like Paddington the Bear, Har Harrington, Harrington the Hare. Oh, thank you so much for that name. Um, but I done said all that. And what we're here to talk about today, because I've been talking to y'all for two minutes and 14 uh, seconds and ain't said nothing yet but, but just sheer comedy. Um, but this is my lesson going into the end of 2020 for you all. I want you all, I got a couple of things. There's so much I want to say to you all. First, the first thing I want you to, to take with you into uh, 2021 is gratitude. Find something that you are thankful for. You know, if there is something you need to grieve about, take a few minutes, grieve and have a temper tantrum about it. God, I'm upset because this happened in 2021. You know, I, I, I didn't appreciate this this happening, you know, in, in 2020. You know, I'm upset about it because I didn't mean to say 2021. I, you know, I speak blessings over 2021. Um... I didn't, I didn't appreciate this part. And while I'm frustrated, I trust you. I continue to trust you. Um, I trust only you. So, you know, God bless you and thank you for all that you've done and doing in my life. Try to make sure this eyelash is staying okay. Um, God, I thank you and I trust you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. Uh, you want to make sure that you do that and enter... You know, just make sure you're continuing to move your life from a place of gratitude. And I know a lot of us do reflection um, at this time of year. So I want to make sure that when you're reflecting that, you know, if you got something that you're sad about, you know, God has hurt me, but I yet trust you and trust your plan for my life. I'm disappointed that this opportunity may have not have come, but I know that you all plans ha -ha, work together for my good, my greatest good. And I thank you for it. Um, I want you to, to stay there, you know, get yourself there for those slow places or disappointing places or hurt places god you know what's best and i thank you for it um i think there are things that that highlighted the blessing of life that came this year you know so i want you to find those things to be thankful for you know, I'm thankful for that. And then most of all, my third tip for what I want you to do is stop talking about stuff that's dead. Don't speak ill of the dead. So if there is a situation uh -huh, or a person that used to that, that you have been delivered from, there come a point where you have to just stop talking about it. You know what I'm saying? You just ain't talking about it. I'm not talking about that old Negro no more. Girl or boy, I'm not talking about them another time. I'm not finna sit on your couch on this Zoom call with my cocktail or with my cup of coffee and talk about boo-boo the fool no more. I'm done with that. I'm, not, I'm done talking about it. 
Um, I'm just I'm just not finna dwell on that. Why? Because I got too many other things I could be talking about. I'm not finna sit up here and talk about him or that old job or that old hurt or they hurt me or this hurt you. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes I was on the phone with my sister. We was talking about losing weight and I said, I'm done talking about this. I ain't talking about weight loss no more. And she was like, oh, okay, well, I didn't mean to, um, I didn't mean to uh, uh, upset you, you know. I said, I ain't mad. I ain't upset. I'm just done talking about weight loss. I done spent enough of my life talking about weight loss. I'm I'm getting, I'm good and grown today. You know, I ain't want to say how old I am, but, you know, most of y'all know I'm getting up there. And I'm like, look, I'm just done talking about it. I'm just, I'm just done. I, you know, I ain't making no more. YouTube, I made one YouTube video about weight loss, and I ain't doing that again. So if you want to hear about weight loss tips, go visit it. I said if I lose weight, you know, if I get myself together and I start losing weight again, I will lose weight again when I'm ready. But I'm done sitting up on something. I ain't going to be talking about whether I'm fat or skinny or where I'm at in my fat, skinny process or, you know, I'm just done having the conversation. You know, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Not again. And I was very clear with her in that, you know. I was talking to a friend, you know, who, who brought up some more. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Nope, not talking about old stuff. Deliver your conversation. What are conversations I'm not going forward and having in my life? If y'all want to get together and rehash past hurts and pains and disappointments and what I did, listen, let me say right now, I'm sorry, I apologize. I needed to grow and I have grown. I'm not the same individual that I was then. Please forgive me. You know, if you need me to tell you that personally, call me so I can tell you that directly. And trust me, I'm doing that for you. I'm gonna look at you. I'm, the things I'm saying to you, I'm gonna watch this and receive for myself that from you, whether you mean it or not. And it don't matter because I'm probably ain't around you no way. Mm, boom. I'm just saying, deliver. Oh, my neighbors is out. Let me get my get to get my kids child so they can come out and play. But deliver your conversation. Take that into the new year, y'all. Stop talking about old stuff that don't matter. Okay? Okay. Be ye blessed. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and the renewing of your conversation. Stop talking about stuff that don't matter. Make a decision and say, I'm done talking about this stuff that don't matter. I'm not talking about this stuff no more. I ain't going to talk about it. And and get comfortable. Get your speech. Oh, I'm not going to talk about that no more. Not because I'm mad. Not because I don't want to talk about it. I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm just done talking about that. We can talk about anything else. I ain't talking about weight. I'm not talking about that anymore. And I'm about to be done talking about hair, too. Because this hair is what it is. It's just big. It's going to be big. Wait a minute. I done lost my light. Mm -hmm, there it is. See, I had to get back into it. This hair big is going to be big. That's what it's, you know, it's just, it's nappy. It's going to be nappy. So I'm done talking about it. I'm just going to rock with it or shave it off or whatever I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do with it, okay? So that's what I want y'all to do. Take that with you. Thank y'all for joining Conference of Conversation. And I'll see y'all in 2021. Take the day.